can't be having that. They are the biggest threat to my attacks. All this area is now pretty much cleared. However, they are sending more in. We can keep bombarding this area. We can even do the same over here. They will keep sending the units in. We keep smashing them. Everything will be good. Lots of them are being burnt out. We can start moving some of these up. They can't reinforce from this area anymore. Get the tanks doing the job. Ooh, this is new. They don't normally do this. Allies request to surrender. We are receiving reports the Allies want to surrender and the entire battlefield is ours. Should we accept the re re assault? They can continue the attack or all points swap to German ownership and the battle will end, meaning we get the star. Yes, we can do this. I mean, why not? We have accepted the Allied surrender. Lovely jubbly. Sweet. Yep, yeah, sweet. Lovely. This is a part of the update. If they are clearly dying then they will surrender to save themselves unnecessary casualties which does mean an immediate loss however nice not a bad result let's have a look at the world map and see how that reflects it another thing which has changed the national will change has altered slightly meaning that the yeah it just slows it down so attacking forces like what we've been doing we've been crushing them and crushing them and crushing them it won't be half as quick to get a national will of victory regardless we have won that battle nothing else to do apart from end the turn I do want tanks everywhere along this front. There is an option now, seen as tanks no longer bring in supply, that we could just shuffle some of these across. Just think of how much more money we would have had. There's three there when there shouldn't be. If uh, we hadn't spent all this money... On these combat aircraft and so on, we'd be rich beyond our wildest dreams. But it is what it is. Doesn't matter. We were certainly winning when we were doing that, that is for sure. Let's end the turn. Seeing as we can't do anything else, it'd be good if they attacked for a change. Well, they're having a good rejig, but they haven't actually attacked. Wiped out. We've lost some important technology. What? Our tanks, planes, and siege artillery can only be fixed so much. If they are destroyed or lost on the battlefield, we have no choice but to order the factories to build more. This is expensive and time-consuming. Try not to lose too many. Now, we did lose one, maybe two, but... Okay... Let's have a look at the event. Destroy eight mortar emplacements. Yeah, I agree with that. We don't like them too much, do we? I'm hoping we can get to 90, uh, 1918. Sorry, 1919 and we'll get uh, an achievement for that. Could go on the attack again. We've got more money and supplies now. Let's have a look at the research we could potentially do. Rolling barrage might be nice. What's this one? Pilot housing? Hmm. I think the next one we're going to go for is death 
from below. This is the undermining one. That is a big bang and shall be entertaining. Do let me know what you thought of the instance that we had, the changes in battle. We clearly saw several of them there. Let me know in the comments. I hope to see you in the next video, and I hope you've enjoyed yourself watching this one. Thank you for tuning in. See you later. Hello, everybody. Thank you for tuning in again. This episode will be slightly different, seen as this is the first time I would have played the game with the drop of the update 1.1. I do like to stay a little bit ahead, just in case, for whatever reason, I can't record. So, during the update, we got told that tank battalions and air wings no longer provide supply. This is something I used to give us loads of supply, an extra 2,000 in fact, to play with during a battle. Now, for those who aren't aware, this is a huge deal. Supply is everything. It gives you the power to bring more units in and build additional trip work and everything else. So that should have been nerfed. So we're going to have to end the turn now because we left it off where we just attacked Hayes Brook and see what we can come up with. I'd just like to ask as well, everybody who did watch it, the live stream that I did on the 23rd of April, that was my first. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments of this video, that would be fine and fantastic. It'll probably be on YouTube now for you to view anyway, so we'll see. And if you did watch it and stuck around, thank you for doing so. All your support is much appreciated. Let's end the turn, shall we? They don't attack. We've got more cash coming in and two more research points. The enemy are bringing their tanks around. We have three stars left on Calais. That is slowly building up after we just sent the tanks in. To murder everybody. This is an additional feature. The little ports floating around. I think it said that there's going to be significant rivers. I can't quite remember what it was like before, to be completely honest. But it is what it is. We've got an event down here. Let's have a look at this. Inflated vision. Destroy three balloons because they are a nuisance. I shall endeavor to do so. Let's have a look at the weaponry we have. We very recently tried the timed airburst shot. I didn't really like that. We were aiming for the machine gun damage. That should be very useful. Seeing as the supplies will be a little bit more strained than normal, it might be an idea to... See about getting some other bits down in terms of airstrips, for example. Increases the supply of air wings by five, and so on and so on. Those are actually now much more viable than what they were before. Seeing as now supply is not given when you have air wings floating around. But we could even go for the smoke. The snipers do keep sniping our units, which is very much a nuisance. We could even get this flak panzer in. That could be quite good. We do have massive air superiority over the enemy, however. But we could get these machine guns in now, making the harassment plane more worth it. I think we'll do that first because I do still want to keep using them let's do that let's get the see how much of a difference it makes we can get our snappers of our own going but by now it should only be used by the elite troops which is fine we do use them however we also use a lot of raiders and if we are on the attack which we generally are there aren't going to be many units floating around which are outside of the trenches, 
where they are vulnerable to our sniper fire. So I don't think we will benefit much from this unless the enemy was attacking us. Having a morale boost in a region would actually be quite nice. To be fair, we do lose men to the retreat slash surrender when they get a little bit too weak having them wanting to fight more will definitely save our necks slightly let's go for that for now and attack Haysbrook we are coming for you this will shorten our line significantly the enemy don't have tanks there, but they've got plenty of infantry, the Belgians, Indians, British air wing, French infantry, a French air wing, and the French elite troops. Now, these are going to be the only ones now which can have snipers, meaning we could actually target them a little bit better if we know where they are. That is something I never thought of. Let's try and do that, shall we? This reckons it will be a stalemate. Oh, actually, is there anything we can build further to increase our supply here? No, we've still got 3,000 to play with. Let's engage the battle. Something else which we want to think about as well is the trenches, once they are built, no longer cost you supply every turn. So you could build a mass thing of trenches and once that's built the next turn you shouldn't have to pay for it again which means trenches will gradually evolve more and more and more with battles going on there which is good that also leaves you more supply to attack with okay okay this is what we did last time i have just realized all the barbed wire that we put down is no longer here i do believe that that is fixed so we might just have to place it down again comes trenches are all here that's not too bad the cost of the improved firing trench and the advanced firing trench and other bits is all reduced the mortar cost is reduced which is good i like them they actually got a big buff the field mortars their damage radius is increased. They are now significantly better at tanks, and they also do a bigger bang in general. Siege artillery, not interested in that. I'll sort out these trenches. So this is what I've had to do. I think I've accidentally broke my own trench there, but never mind. I've got the tanks in, six of them. With a the barbed wire is now here. I'm going to be attacking with the. Flame Stormtroopers, seen as the enemy don't have any tanks. I don't think we will need the Grenadiers as much. So we'll go for the Flame Troops. They shouldn't get sniped as much as only the Elite Infantry can now snipe our units. We have Elites floating around there and there. Just that little marker mean they have the sniper because we don't actually have it, but okay. Got some more barbed wire floating around here. I didn't bother with the MGs and things because they haven't actually attacked yet. But I don't think we need it. And I also want to see if this barbed wire is persistent. Lots of artillery floating around. We're going to go on the full offensive again with these tanks leading the charge. So let's get the balloon up and see what happens. Well, we can scout them a little bit. Notice you can no longer see the enemy troops in the trench, giving you an idea of where they are. We can't even see their balloon anymore. This will mean that we can't even see the artillery and things as well, seeing as they've fixed that before you could see the enemies. Oh, we've got such good range. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Do they have a balloon? Oh, there's their balloon. Straight away, we're going to go for a balloon-busting mission. Followed by some aircraft of our own going in. Get rid of that. Hey, they come. Notice the time is a little bit bigger as well. They've changed it so that 
normal mode, you get 25 minutes on... Oh, the balloon's going down straight away. On elite mode, you get 20 minutes, and on easy, you get around half an hour. Oh, no. I've just seen they're going for our balloon. Our air superior superiority mission need to collapse. We're going to take out some of their fighters. We lost one. And they've lost both of theirs. Their balloon should hopefully now be down. With time not being an issue any as much anymore, we can actually start bombarding them a little bit better. Now that's happened, they're going to start launching some troops at us only from this direction but it is more than the normal amount we'll just move Not our tanks Pilo. forward to deal with them the don't want them to destroy Go our ahead. balloon they have three units on the way this is an issue let's take out these guns i can't be having that they are the biggest threat to my tanks. Get them bombarded. We can even send in a bomber lane. See how much damage that does. They should be significantly improved. Mortars do a lot of damage to our tanks, so we're going to have to deal with that as well. They have good range on them. Gonna have to be wary. Our plane is floating around. I'm gonna get a air superiority mission on the go as well. Because they will be sending planes in like that. Maybe too late. Oh, they're gonna get it. That is a little bit annoying, not gonna lie. We can start bombarding some of this again. We need to take care of this artillery. These are the biggest threat to our tanks. We do have extra time to do this, so we might as well. I think we've lost our bomber. Yeah, it's kind of crumbled to bits. Our our planes are just roaming around at the moment trying to find them. For some reason they can't. They are over there, chaps. Murdering them off the campaign map at the moment. It's one of them down. They still have another over here, though. This artillery is of major nuisance. We can keep hammering it, I suppose. All heavies. I'd rather take them out before going forwards, because then we can... Oh, that better not be good doing what I think it's doing. Where's our balloon gone? Oh, it's over there. I think we're okay. I think it's just searching for our... aircraft. I'm going to have to click the button very quick. Oh, here we go. Our aircraft decided to ignore it, but our other one is definitely on the ball with that. And our other friend is joining in, I think, or he's going to ignore it. Well, they've lost more planes. I could try again with the bomber. bomber für schwere Bodenziele auf Get a superiority mission up here this time. We can hammer them down enough. We should be good. I need to start taking out these mortars. They will deal significant damage to the tanks. They are the big threat. There's another one there. We'll, and another one there. We'll get rid of them. Hoping the bombers deal with the artillery while we blow these up. They have brought more aircraft in hopefully our air superiority ones will do the job gonna bring another one in we want to protect that bomber we'll do with the upgrade to increase the damage of the bomber to be fair that would help out a lot Get more planes coming in which is nice that is not dead is that just a suppression now? Have you noticed the radius for the suppression barrage is a lot lower? They have changed that as well. Let's get rid of these. That's neither dead. That's neither dead. Something to watch for. Gurkhas with grenades. Nasty. 
These elite troops have snipers. We deal with these other bits as we go on. Our plane is still bombing them, which is lovely. Can help our plane along a little bit while we start bombarding this section a little bit. I suppose we can uh, keep them happy actually. We're just oh, they're sending more units over. Coming to this direction. We'll leave them to it. Should be okay. I'm going to use the rest of the artillery to start hitting the rest of the mortars that they have. Once they are reloaded properly, I think our bomber is done. Their artillery is nearly finished. I'm wondering if this suppression barrage will finish that one off. They have more airplanes coming in. That could be a balloon busting mission, so we're going to have to make sure that we dominate that again. They're very much more aggressive with their airplanes this time. Which is lovely to see. I like to see the planes in action. Put the balloon down. I think that's what it was. I'm not entirely sure. I don't want to risk losing it, however. Worth just waiting for a moment. Going to lose a plane there. Our buddies are coming in, though. Still up in the sky. Get our balloon back up. There we go, their planes are now dead. Nice. Right, let's start sending some troops up. The mortars are gone and there are no grenade troops there. But we should be safe. Let's bombard that mortar there. Two heavies and a light seem to be enough. We are taking artillery fire, but there's not much artillery left. I'm going to send just two more over, actually, just to be sure. Don't want to get hit badly. They're sending units over here as well. Shuffle them this way. We can hotkey these. Start clearing this section out. Their artillery is nearly non-existent now. Excellent job. The tanks are doing a good job of clearing out the section. Nice. We can even start thinking about using... Oh, no, you don't. Ayo, ayo, ayo. Didn't think that one through, did I? Properly. They are getting shot, though. They're very slow. Just keep them going that way. Let's move our troops up into these board trenches. There shouldn't be a mortar there, so we can start taking care of that. We need to watch these grenadiers, though. Sending these up now will do us a world of good. Hopefully they don't have too many elite units because they will just get sniped. And these are very costly units. We don't want that to happen, nor do we want the number of casualties. We have to make sure we keep an eye on them. We need those raiders gone. We need these other mortars that are down here gone as well. Let's take care of that. Two heavies and one light seems to do the job. We can eliminate this as well. The extended range on the observation balloon really does make a big difference to our attack. We can RT lots of things from many directions. It's quite lovely. Need these tanks to behave a little bit better. Come on, chaps. There we go. Kind of eliminate them if you can, or these even. Grenadiers are your biggest threat. Those are done. I'm wondering if the enemy are going to send in. Oh, they're so slow in the snow. It's not nice. Notice how none of them are being hit by snipers. That's because it's only now 
due to the elite units, which they must not have any of. All these troops are coming in. We could have a go at the harassment plane. Let's get one in and see what it does. If we can get another air superiority on the guard because we don't want them to destroy it. Lots more units floating around here that are still hitting us with one or two guns. Then that tank home quickly. That artillery is an absolute nuisance. Might only be two guns there, but those two guns packed some serious punch. Our units are now in C. I think we can capture this quicker than before. Oh, we must have lost one over there. Didn't realize. Enemy don't have that much. Really. Let's have a look. But in the trench, they're always quite covered anyway. I'm not too sure how effective it's going to be. Send those over. These troops are now all in here, which is ideal. Excellent job. Now, we have that. We can send two of them up here while we start sending the troops this way. We can eliminate that. We are in the money. This is their command trench. We can definitely do with this being eliminated as quickly as possible. We can have two flames over here just to be safe. I can strongly suspect the enemy are going to start sending units over. Couple more of the mortars still exist. We can eliminate them. Can't see any more, just MGs, which I'm not too concerned about. What's going on here? Are we being hit by snipers? I'm not too sure. I'm not entirely sure what is going on on this section, to be completely honest. I think they're running out of troops. I think they're all getting a little bit stuck, to be fair. Let's just see if we can get them a little bit more organized. Start bombarding all of this. They have elite units there as well. Here a plane. Oh, it's ours. That's okay. Let's get rid of these. Double stacked like this. Infantry is easy pickings for any artillery. Especially in a basic firing trench, they get hammered. Tanks are being a little bit silly. Start sending them down this way. They should be able to cover any potential advance. This is why I wanted the blame troops here. Simply because they are fantastic. This unit is seeming to be a little bit stuck. Let's try and help it along. Find MGs on the tanks don't seem to be as effective, maybe. What do you think? They are currently getting shot at. Let's get rid of these double stacks. These remaining bits should get blacked quite easily, especially on the side. We can move some of these units over here to start taking their command trench. This one can go over there and help deal with the morale issue that we're probably going to have. We might even need to send one or two of these tanks home. They are attempting to retake this object objective. Many of their units are being sent home though. Sending quite a few over. It is now said that these units should now stop being silly. AI should be better in terms of they'll launch an attack, and if it keeps failing, then they should stop that attack. This should be a good improvement. 
Where are we being hit from? They keep sending units over here. This is probably a good time for a harassment plane. Anybody that does come over here will get hit. Keep hitting these. They'll have to replace them. Do the same over here as well. That sounds juicy to me. Especially if the enemy keep going at us like this. Everything will be well. We can start moving some of these units into the trench. Have our tanks over there to support them. We're going to have to do this a little bit more properly now. Get those flames over there ready to run across on the flank. They are thoroughly getting hit. We can even potentially suppress anything that starts shooting. I am wondering if this will stop them from shooting back at us. It does. We still have a good radius. Any artillery at this point is going to be glorious to us. Get these machine guns used. Get them a little bit closer. Start using some of these artilleries if we can. Are you ready? Can't use that barrage for some reason. Oh, the right there. That is not nice. We need to get our tank over in this direction. We are flaming them out. I think the game's slowing down a little bit. Might be struggling with sending in all the reinforcements. Our harassment plane is doing wonders. They are sending in a lot of troops all over here as well. We can plunk our plane right there. I don't want them to send any raiders in. If they send raiders in, we could potentially be in trouble here. Well, our tanks will be at least anyway. We're going to have to get another tank in. We'll shuffle it down from this direction. We'll get two in, actually, and send this one home. These flames will be doing the world of good for any unit knocking around in the area. They are very nice at doing that. All this area is now pretty much cleared. However, they are sending more in. We can keep bombarding this area. We can even do the same over here. They will keep sending the units in. We keep smashing them. Everything will be good. Lots of them are being burnt out. We can start moving some of these up. They can't reinforce from this area anymore. Get the tanks doing the job. Oh, this is new. They don't normally do this. Allies request to surrender. We are receiving reports the Allies want to surrender and the entire battlefield is ours. Should we accept the re re assault? We can continue the attack or all points swap to German ownership and the battle will end, meaning we get the star. Yes, we can do this. I mean, why not? We have accepted the ally surrender. Lovely jubbly. Sweet. Yeah, sweet. Lovely. This is a part of the update. If they are clearly dying, then they will surrender to save themselves. Unnecessary casualties. Which does mean an immediate loss. However... Nice. Not a bad result. Let's have a look at the world map and see how that reflects it. Another thing which has changed, the national will change has altered slightly, meaning that it slows it down. So, attacking forces like what we've been doing, we've been crushing them and crushing them and crushing them. It won't be half as quick to get a national will victory. 
Regardless, we have won that battle. Nothing else to do apart from end the turn. I do want tanks everywhere along this front. There is an option now, seeing as tanks no longer bring in supply, that we could just shuffle some of these across. Just think of how much more money we would have had. There's three there when there shouldn't be. If uh, we hadn't spent all this money on these combat aircraft and so on, we would be rich beyond our wildest dreams. But it is what it is. Doesn't matter. We were certainly winning when we were doing that. That is for sure. Let's end the turn. Seeing as we can't do anything else, it'd be good if they attacked for a change. Well, they're having a good rejig, but they haven't actually attacked. White out. We've lost some important technology. What? Our tanks, planes, and siege artillery can only be fixed so much. If they are destroyed or lost on the battlefield, we have no choice but to order the factories to build more. This is expensive and time consuming. Try not to lose too many. Now we did lose one, maybe two, but... Okay, let's have a look at the event. Destroy eight mortar emplacements. Yeah, I agree with that. We don't like them too much, do we? I'm hoping we can get to 90, uh, 1918. Sorry, 1919 and we'll get uh, an achievement for that. Could go on the attack again. We've got more money and supplies now. Let's have a look at the research we could potentially do. Rolling barrage might be nice. What's this one? Pilot housing? Hmm... I think the next one we're going to go for is Death From Below. This is the undermining one. That is a big bang and shall be entertaining. Do let me know what you thought of the instance that we had. The changes in battle. We clearly saw several of them there. Let me know in the comments. I hope to see you in the next video. And I hope you've enjoyed yourself watching this one. Thank you for tuning in. See you later.